Cancer, welcome to your end of January 2019 General Tarot update. I'm Raina. I'm using the Druid Craft deck this time around. Oh my god, why do I keep getting that High Priest? That's uh, the Hierophant. I keep getting that card. But it's interesting for you, I'm getting these cards in the upright position. For um, <laughs> speaking of upright position, then I get that uh, a reversed card. Um, so the there was another sign where I got those same cards in the reversed position. Oh, I love this card, the magician. Oh, this is sweet. This is great. Okay. So the heart of the matter is the high priest, which corresponds with the, um, this is for a good thumbnail shot. <laughs> uh, it's so big I can't even put it in, in frame. Uh, the, this corresponds with the uh, uh, Hierophant, which is a card which corresponds with the sign of Taurus. Now the Hierophant is a card of tradition, which I would have to say if I were going to characterize your sign is that it's a traditional sign. You may beg to differ, but that's how I feel about it, is that it's a traditional sign, and you tend to, if you're like deciding whether to move in with somebody or not, you want, or to, to marry, you want to get married. That's your thing. Um, this can be deciding, you know, should I get married? Uh, it could be dealing with a Taurus person. It can be dealing with some kind of spiritual matters. You may have gone back to university or our beginning um, university courses, this can be higher learning. Totally seems like uh, Sagittarius, but whatever, I can't help but say that. And um, maybe you're just getting more into your religion or spiritual belief system. In the past position, we have the strength card. Now, when I see the strength card, oh, it's funny, she's got one of those, you know, I don't know what those things are called, but they're like, you know, that you put on your arm as kind of adornments. Um, the strength card connects to Leo, but in terms of what this uh, can mean, it, obviously it's self-explanatory cancer, but one thing that I always think of is the fact that the person who gets this card, and of course this is the past position for you, but it may be that you've come out of some kind of really challenging uh, situation in your life and you're kind of emerging from that and you have really um, you've really done it you've been able to kind of uh, conquer something and now you have that sense of um, you know confidence in yourself and maybe this connects with um, your philosophical beliefs, but it may be due to a relationship with a person representing the high priest that makes you feel like um, maybe you had to regain your sense of self-esteem in order to attract this person into your life. Now, the higher message is the Queen of Swords in reverse. So let's look at how it, it looks. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I thought that was a witch's hat on her, but she looks like she's sharpening the sword with her hand. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse is the negative energy of the feminine, okay? And so something um, is going on here. You know, it's funny. I've got this book. I, wanna, I want to um, bring it up to you by Anthony Lewis. You see how beat up of a copy it is because I've had it so long. But they characterize the... Anthony Lewis characterizes this card in reverse as a real bitch. So I'm going to read to you because I won't be able to do justice some of the terms that he uses for this. And I want you to think about this. If you or somebody in your life is acting like this, um, misuse of speech or intellect, disregard of law, vindictiveness, bitterness, resentment, emotional blackmail, 
uh, malicious lies, prejudice, grief, misery, whining, misery loves company, and then they say situations and advice. A domineering, vindictive woman may be secretly trying to discredit you um, and thus preventing you from obtaining a position you desire. You must not allow hard times to leave you feeling embittered and devoid of tender emotions. Um, an angry woman who feels she was treated unfairly. Um, one who puts people down and can't be trusted. One who twists the facts in order to... Uh, to her, you know, for her advantage and a, a, a skillful, skillful enemy. Now, here's the deal, though. Um, as the higher message, um, if you're dealing with someone who is like this, and this could be this person's ex, um, the thing that you have to understand is that um, you don't you want to stay above the fray. The other thing, too, is that queens can be mothers. So this can all be, you can be having like um, a lot of like a spiritual, to me, even like a spiritual awakening. Or if you come from a family where you're the first one to go to college and people, and it could even be like your mother or an older sister, somebody um, who is jealous, envious of you, doesn't want wants to keep you down these kinds of people may discourage you from pursuing your dreams it's up to you uh cancer to rise above this because you may as i said you're you're getting stronger and you're starting to maybe allow god into your life and maybe you've attracted a wonderful relationship with somebody and there is stability in this relationship and you're beginning to put the pieces uh, together, connect the dots. Maybe um, you come from a dysfunctional family and you were given these horrible messages. Um, or you're dealing with somebody who has this kind of baggage in their life. Stay above the fray. Don't, don't um, get involved. And, um, you know, don't hang around people who try to put you down. Um, what crosses you is the Prince of Pentacles. Um, this is connected to the Knight of Pentacles. Now, it's funny because this could be a uh, Taurus. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus energy. So, because the Hierophant is at the centerpiece of this reading, my assumption was that this is somebody who is good for you. But perhaps this person, even in the upright position, is not the person for you. Another thing about it is that this person may use religion to kind of manipulate. I was just reading about that, uh, or it might have been a video that I saw the title of that said it's like the narcissist who is religious or using the church. And <laughs> um, the weird thing is, luckily people don't know that I'm doing this, but I know a couple that... Um, this could apply to, and this is kind of freaky to me, um, that the, these dynamics in some form or another are happening. Um, and the thing about this is that um, this person is really um, immune to logic um, because they're so stubborn. They may very much be... Um, a materialist and you may be uh, undergoing a spiritual awakening and you may have grown apart from this person so I you know when I start doing the reading I'm you know directed in one direction and now I'm kind of veering off into a different direction so please you know follow me a lot follow along here because that's just how I feel like I have to have to take it. So it's possible that this Taurus person isn't the right person for you after all, although you are compatible with Earth signs in general. Uh, but, you know, not everyone is going to be compatible. But again, they may be very... Um, it could be a situation where they're overly materialistic and you're the one that is um, interested in spiritual matters. It could be that their religion... They're stubborn about their religious beliefs, and you have kind of opened up 
in that area and you're seeing the the gap, the clash of things. Now, interesting. The, the last two cards are amazing. Um, what's coming in is the Ace of Wands. And what a wonderful depiction of that because this is fire energy. And fire energy with the Ace is new beginnings, that new independence for you, new um, feelings of awakening, a feeling passion, a feeling like um, you have come out of something. The strength card, going back to that card, uh, maybe that is a Leo person in your life, ca uh, Cancer. Um, this could be a new relationship with this fire sign. Um, this person, if it's, a, if it's another person, they awaken something in you. They make you feel alive. This Prince of Pentacles individual is boring to you. He is somebody who is too concerned with the controlled energy, with, the, with, the, with matter, with things that are temporary. You are interested in creativity. You are interested in whatever your passions are. And this person ignites that. Or you're just igniting it within yourself. And it is a new beginning in that sense. And then we have as the outcome, the magician, the sense of self-empowerment. Just like the strength card, you feel like you have it within yourself. You know, um, Pis uh, Pisces, <laughs> uh, Cancer is, a, is um, I, because I was thinking of water energy, is passive energy. That's why I think I said P. Um, and so you are the kind of, uh, your feminine sign. So it's not beyond the pale for a cancer person to feel like they should follow somebody else's lead. And yet that can lead to you feeling lost, feeling like you have uh, lost your way. I feel like you are finding, a, you're forging a new path for yourself and that you are feeling this sense of self-empowerment and you know how could I forget I mean this year uh, is so important for you you know you're having a solar eclipse this summer you had one last summer you had a uh, full moon last month and um, this uh, by the way you're having a lunar eclipse in your second house of earned income so um, this could be some kind of exclamation point, some sort of change when it comes to income, something coming in in a very big way. Uh, this is a super moon. So things are really changing. This is a change ancient year for you, uh, Cancer. So embrace that change. Understand. Uh, oh, you had a, a solar eclipse in j earlier this month in your opposite sign in the, in the marriage sector in Capricorn. So change is afoot. Um, and passion is here for you. So this can feel very exciting. It can feel very new. It can feel like you can rely on yourself again. And that feels good. Okay, that's what I have for you, Cancer. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Have a great rest of January. Bye.